Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another video here with FTG. We've been uh, doing this here the past couple of parts uh, of our live series here. Uh, brand new app for 1.31. As you can see on your screen, brand new Viva Mexico map 2.4.4. Now, this is the as of the first official update here for 1.31. Now, as this video gets a little bit of age on it, we, of course, go updated. Um, you know, this, this, some of this information may find itself to be irrelevant. We'll just kind of see. But as for right now, this is so relevant of it because this is so the end thing it's just so uh such a good map so i want to go ahead i want to discuss a little bit i want to go ahead and tell you where you can get it i also want to tell you the load order the mod load order of this thing and how it goes in we got to jump around through a few different things here and get things set up as best we can but here we are right here at modland.net american truck simulator mods look it up viva mexico 2.4.4 it's going to bring you here to this page it'll be also one of the ones so if we actually if we go back uh, and to look at our first top mods here on uh, ATS mods, uh, right on the very first page on the very bottom here towards the bottom, uh, right here it is. So go ahead and click the text here so that way we can do it. I want to show you guys what to look at. This is the best new map, uh, in my opinion, for ATS. There's really, there's only a couple of other maps for, um, for whatever reason. This is just... Um, there's only really, you've got Coast to Coast, you've got Canada Dream. Um, the Hawaii map was eh. The Alaska map was eh. None of them have been really um, uh, projects that have really gotten this, got a, gotten ahead uh, and have gotten the steam to really finish and, and come up with some really, really, really uh, future-proof updates that are just really solid. So let's take a look at it here. Um, uh, we've got a few things that I want to make point. I uh, want to point out as well. You have to have the required DLC in New Mexico. If you do not have New Mexico, it is not going to work. I don't care how many times you do it. Also, your uh, things right here: HPS resources, Mexico Extreme Mode, Viva Mexico 2.4.4. Those things right there. Those things have to be there, and as well as the map is compatible with all map mods, including Canada Dream and Coast to Coast in this actual version 1.31. Okay, so uh, the X just means is at least for right now, future proof of 1.31, and then ATS. I mean ATS. The guys over at SES Software may add something or like um, you know they, they may have a little hot fix or something, and it, and it may throw something else like it may make it 1.31.2. Then the next little small little nitpicky update will be 0 0.3. That, that's not a big deal. Don't worry about that stuff. Just make sure you're in 1.31, which is the as of right now is the active uh, ATS. Uh, version uh, history number here that we are in. So, Viva Mexico 2.4.4, you are going to download all three of these external uh, downloads. So, click them, go to the next page. Um, now, if you haven't, at this point, I am going to put up a card here that's going to send you to another video of how to download, um, uh, download stuff out of sites like this, how to put either virus protection, put ad block, put something like that on your uh, machine. If you're using Google Chrome, whatever it is, browser that you're using, you can use some type of ad block that will help kind of filter out some of that stuff. Okay. I already have all three of these downloaded, but grab all three of these files. Okay. So as right now, let's go ahead. I'm going to jump over here. Uh, so here we go. I've got three things that I want to point out. Uh, now I do have this U.S. expansion 2.3. I've been tooling around with this to see, you know, whether or not it's any good. Um, but here it is. Now these are all of the mods that I have right now that are downloaded from other places. Now these could be there anything from skins. There's a few trucks in here. Uh, you know, there's a couple things uh, that I get from these sites and whatnot. So here it is. HPS resources. It's going to come out all as three SES files. So Mexico Extremo version two point. Uh, zero A, uh, and then Viva Mexico 2.4.4 Hugo CES. Those three files right there are going to be the ones that you are going to be on the watch out for, on the lookout for. Uh, so other than that, you're not going to need anything else. Those three by themselves. Um, so, all right, so let's, let's move this off to the side and let's go ahead and I am going to cut to video here and I will come right back here in ATS. Okay, all right, well, we are here now. Uh, ATS is loaded up, and we're basically back to our... Uh, I need to update my profile pictures. Oh, those are 
Those are old. I never paid any attention to them until now. I'm like, oh, those aren't the newest updated things. Okay. Anyway, go to your mod manager and a few things. Now, you guys are always like, oh, to see what your mod list looks like. So this is my active 1.31 mod list right now. And that's a lot. People, people, I don't know. People, people always get in there and they, they, they try to tell me, well, it doesn't work with anything. It doesn't work like this. It doesn't work like that. That's a lot of flipping mods for a, a mod folder. Um, and it's all working. I don't have anything that's conflicting right now. So, um, and I've got a lot more that I can throw in there. I just, you know, really haven't because we're waiting on some things to, uh, to upload. So here you go. This is the correct load order. I don't want any arguments. I don't want people commenting back to this video and saying, it doesn't work for me. Well, if it doesn't work for you, you're not doing something right. A lot of times in profiles, you got to be careful where, uh, if you have other maps and you have garages in other cities and you take that stuff out, like if I were to take mexico out of my profile right now it would destroy this profile because i have garages bought in mexico if you have a map uh, maybe just a tip a pointer if you have uh some other type of a map maybe a canada dream or a coast to coast that you've taken out and you had garages all over the country it's probably not going to work until you put coast to coast or canada dream back in there uh, it's just not going to because it's still trying to register that you own these places. So sell them off uh, or open up a brand new profile and start throwing mods in there. So here is the correct load order. This is from the bottom to the top. Don't get, I'm going to do another video on priority of load order. And so many people get this wrong. The lower on the list does not mean the priority is low, that it's not important. Low on this priority list and active mods at the bottom means you are at the base. Use your map as the base. So do not put Mexico Extreme, don't put HBS, Mexico Extreme, don't put any of that stuff at the very top of your list and say, oh, well, this is a high priority because I want to see this mod. It doesn't work that way. Okay. And don't comment back to me and argue with me and say, well, it does because it doesn't because that's why you're watching the videos because you can't get it to work and I have it working. <laughs> I'm just be I had to be cynical there. No, I'm serious because uh, it happens all the time. Uh, people comment and, and say stuff like that. And it's obvious that I have it working and this is the way that it works. OK, so they tell you in the in the readme file, but nobody ever reads through the readme file. They just read the look of a uh, YouTube video. So here we go. Viva Mexico map 2.44 at the very bottom or whatever bottom of maps. Now, if you're running coast to coast or running those, you might have a different load order. I personally don't run those, so I don't really know what they are. So you may want to revert back to your readme files for those three maps to double check what this is going to be. More than likely, it's still going to be Mexico at the bottom, then coast to coast, and then Canada Dream. More than likely. But do not quote me on that because I'm not sure because I don't like either one of those maps. I don't really run them. Um, tell you, once you run the Viva Mexico stuff, you won't run them either, or at least you won't drive on them that much. These three right here is what you need. Uh, HBS resource at the top, Extremo 2.2 or 2.0, and then Viva Mexico map from, uh, you know, one, two, three, boom, boom, boom. Now you might be looking at these two. This is just a little, a little tidbit here. If you want to put these in, these are really, really, really good. Uh, us expansion does work with all of this stuff. I, I mean, I really tell a huge difference with some of these, um, you got to actually purposefully tell me, Hey, you're driving on one of their expansion roads. Okay. Uh, new mountain texture is really good. Realistic roads is really good. Enhanced vegetation is really good. Those are all three Steam Workshop mods. That's all you need here uh, to make Viva Mexico work. So if you want to see some really good gameplay, this is really just an informational video to kind of put it all together uh, so that you know exactly you know, how to put those mods in, how to get the files in, get those in the correct load order, and then load up literally and you're in the middle of Mexico Well, once you drive down there. So let me just really quick... Um, I'm going to exit out since we didn't make any changes and let's go ahead. I'm going to continue the game here. We're just going to really quickly here, look at the mapping, uh, and just check it out and see what we've got, uh, and see how long, um, and see how much area you get added on to Mexico, especially if you've not watched, uh, you know, one of the, uh, one of the live streams. I would say go do that. That's one good thing you can do. Uh, if you want to go kind of see some of these different areas, it's really awesome. A lot of your, you know, loading screens here will all be of these. Uh, the Mexico ones, uh, they kind of override everything else. Some people like, some people hate, but it is what it is. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and look at our world map. All right, so we are right now just uh, pulled off here in, in Phoenix. Obviously, New Mexico, Arizona. Uh, we got California here in Nevada. Um, you can see we got quite a bit of stuff has been explored. Uh, but as you see, we get down here, we start seeing a lot more addition of roads uh, and a lot more stuff 
down here in Mexico. So this whole Baja Peninsula was kind of the first part, and then they bridged over, uh, came down out of Arizona once it was made available. And then uh, the next one is going to add in this whole area right here. This whole entire state or province of Mexico is going to connect to New Mexico. Um, so at some point, this is going to have to be there. Now, they're using resources out of the New Mexico DLC, which is why that you have to have the New Mexico DLC. If they took all of those resources from New Mexico DLC out, then you could play the map without it. But they did not build the mapping that way. And I get it because there's some nice new things that modders have the access to use here in the New Mexico DLC. So they're just using the same stuff that's already cached in our systems uh, and our mapping for New Mexico. It's already loaded in. It's easy. It's not custom. It's, it's good. It's optimized. I don't blame them a bit for using that stuff. So as you can see, we'll scroll down even further. You can see literally how far. And there is, a, I'm going to zoom in here. So you'll start to see some really kicking crazy and crazy roads through here uh this whole entire road here is nice agua prieta all the way down uh to moctezuma back over to hermosillo uh all of these roads right here are just awesome they're all cliff hangers are all cliff sides you could all consider those kind of the dangerous roads and this whole entire trifecta right here all the way down to uh to cd obregon down here uh in navajoa all of that all the way down to mazatlan it's really 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 awesome stuff now from here you can see this is all the new area updates here for 2.4.4 so it's really cool stuff here now there was some additions there was a lot of road changes and a lot of reworks to the road uh and this new uh, durango which was 2.4.3 that was the new one, I guess, that was updated to at least 1.30, I think, is about where they kept it. And they started, I already had all this working. So uh, just here in the live stream, we've only been able to, in four hours, like total four hours of driving in real time, we've only been able to drive here down to, uh, to Pinos and then back up to uh, Zacatecas and then back over to Yapa or Yalpa. Uh, and then we're back. Uh, I think we stopped somewhere in Fresno. So those are the two. We still have all of this over here to explore. We still have all this up to the north. So we're going to do some videos of some of these areas because there are actually some really cool things in there uh, that I've just been kind of flying through the space here, just kind of looking through some of this stuff. Lots of layers in the cities, lots of really good details. So we got tons of gameplay. I'm going to link both of those, or at least I'm going to put a card up here for both videos. And especially here at the end, I'm going to have uh, at least one of those live streams is going to be on there. So if you guys want to check out our first kind of entry uh we took off of here from uh from mazatlan uh came in through the south and then went all the way down here to uh to fresno and it was an awesome trip because i really 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 do love this mexico map it's really good um and the one thing is coming back out of this we're going to come back up through all of this craziness all the way through here it's a completely different sector and crosses up underneath all these highways and stuff through here um, this this section right here on the highway 400 all the way down to el salto was just insane so i'm gonna link that and make sure that that's up on our end title screen so i hope you enjoyed the video guys uh it's a relatively short one because there's really not much but i wanted to make sure to let you guys know how to get viva mexico 2.4.4 working uh now that we've got a, a couple of videos done here and live streams now that you know where the link is i'll link that as well into the description uh also got a few other things down there as well if you want to check out computer specs anything else and like i say guys uh, i've been saying this a lot lately here uh, support wise um uh, yeah, super chats and and all that stuff for live streams always welcome all the paypal donations all that stuff is welcome to kind of keep good content rolling your way here but the biggest thing you can do is go like some more videos go like some more videos go watch some more videos uh mod showcases for different trucks yada 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 whatever does not matter go like something go watch something put it off on the background uh and that's a really 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 great way to support me right now because youtube is taking note that hey uh some things are things are chucking along here on the channel things are going great we just cleared over 10k um so go do that for me i'm telling you it really 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 helps youtube really likes to see that kind of stuff so that's it for me guys i'll see y'all here in the next video I'm gonna, we'll start working on priority uh ordering for mods that's gonna be my next series there in our modding 101 just to really get you guys up to speed here uh and maybe you'll be driving around like a pro like me here uh pretty soon with the mods you guys will be flipping around the uh stuff and who knows man maybe you guys will find something that you'll chunk my way and say hey man you got to stream this tonight i'll be like right on bro let's go do it so anyway thanks for that guys i appreciate it i will see y'all here in the next video we'll see you